Liger. The Liger is a hybrid animal created from a male lion and a female tiger. This crossbreeding doesn't happen in the wild. It only occurs through human intervention, typically in captivity or in zoos. From its parents, the Liger inherits an enormous body size, often growing even larger than both pure lions and tigers. It has the muscular build of a lion, combined with faint tiger-like stripes across its coat. Its behavior is also a mix. Leggers show the social tendencies of lions, but they also keep the solitary instincts of tigers. Because of genetic incompatibilities, not all traits from the parents appear, and male ligers are almost always sterile. Fun fact, there are about 52 zoos around the world that keep ligers, with a global population of more than 120 individuals. Zorse. A zorse is a hybrid created by crossing a zebra with a horse. The result is a unique blend of both animals. It usually has zebra-like stripes on part or all of its body, a slimmer horse-like build, and stronger endurance with more wild instincts compared to a regular horse. Because horses and zebras have different chromosome counts, zorses are almost always sterile and often experience reproductive issues, making natural breeding extremely difficult. On average, a zorse can live around 20 to 30 years. Today, zorses can be found mainly in Africa and North America, especially in captivity or conservation centers. Interestingly, there are estimated to be over 1,000 zorses worldwide. Ironically, many experts argue that breeding zorses offers little conservation value since they're often produced for circus shows rather than for wildlife preservation. Savannah Cat the savannah cat is a hybrid between a serval and a domestic cat, and it combines traits from both parents in fascinating ways. From the serval, it inherits sharp hunting instincts, lightning-fast reflexes, and incredible jumping ability. From the domestic cat, it gets a more social personality, easy interaction with humans, and a tendency to be affectionate. What's really unique is that savannah cats are categorized into seven generations, labeled F1 through F7. These generations are based on how closely their genes resemble the serval parent. Fun fact, F1. Savannah cats can sell for eye-popping prices in some countries. Savannah cats are especially popular in the United States, where they're often kept as premium exotic pets because of their striking, playful, and adorable appearance. Beefalo. The beefalo is a hybrid created intentionally by humans, combining the traits of the American bison and domestic cattle. The goal was to produce an animal that is tougher and more resilient, able to withstand extreme weather and resist disease. This crossbreeding has sparked some controversy, as critics argue it's an unnatural manipulation of wildlife. Despite that, beefalo offer clear benefits. Their meat is leaner than regular beef, and they can survive in harsh environments with minimal food. Today, there are an estimated 40,000 to 50,000 beefalo worldwide, mainly in the United States and Canada particularly on farms focused on high-quality beef production. Remarkably, beefalo can thrive in deserts, grasslands, snowy regions, and even mountainous terrain. Holfen A holfen is a rare hybrid between a false killer whale, Pseudorca crassidens, and a bottlenose dolphin. While fascinating, this hybrid comes with several challenges. Genetic differences between the two species often cause infertility and, in some cases, underdeveloped organs. For this reason, holfens rarely occur in the wild, and natural births are extremely uncommon. Today, there are fewer than 10 holfens in the world. The most famous resides in captivity in Hawaii, USA. With proper care, however, a holfen can live between 20 and 30 years. Mule A mule is a hybrid born from a female horse and a male donkey. This cross is extremely rare in the wild because horses and donkeys have very different mating behaviors and social patterns. That's why mules are almost always produced in captivity or on farms. Mules inherit a fascinating mix of traits from both parents. From their horse mother, they get a taller, more athletic build, decent speed, and a smoother coat. From their donkey father, they inherit long ears, incredible strength, and exceptional endurance. What surprises many people is that mules are actually smarter and quicker to learn than either of their parents. Because this hybrid is so useful, strong, intelligent, and reliable, mules are bred in large numbers. Today, the global mule population is in the millions, with major populations in China, Ethiopia, Mexico, Tanzania, and the United States. Wolfdog 
A wolf dog is a hybrid created by crossing a wolf with a domestic dog, and it's known for its striking, unusual appearance. It often has the silver-gray coat of a wolf, combined with a face that looks more like a domestic dog, giving it a truly unique look. This crossbreeding produces a mix of traits you rarely see in either species alone. From the wolf mother, it inherits sharp hunting instincts and a high level of alertness. From the dog father, it gains better trainability and stronger adaptability to humans. Wolf dogs also outperform their parents in several ways. They tend to have greater stamina for long-distance activity, along with higher intelligence and better problem-solving skills. Because of these qualities, many people choose to keep wolf dogs as pets, though they require experienced owners. Today, there are an estimated 15,000 to 20,000 wolf dogs worldwide, with the largest populations found in the United States, Canada, Russia, and Germany. Kama The Kama is an extremely rare hybrid between a dromedary camel and a llama, and it almost never occurs without human intervention. It's often considered an experimental animal because reproduction is carried out artificially in labs rather than naturally. The first successful breeding took place on January 14, 1998, at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai. The goal was to combine the camel's strength and endurance with the high-quality wool of a llama. Today, there are believed to be fewer than 50 commas in the world, primarily in the United Arab Emirates. With proper care, a comma can live between 20 and 30 years, 